Okay, I'm making this video today just because of a little update my Silver Eagle here. I had to do some repairs. You've seen in a previous video, I broke the firing pin, retaining pin, I guess it would be. And uh, so I contacted Silver Eagle and their customer support is awesome. They actually watched the video to see exactly what was going on. I think it was like a Thursday or Friday. So the following Tuesday, I think it was, I had a brand new bolt carrier come in the mail. Totally free. So I got a new firing pin, spring. The spring was missing on the video. I, I realized after it, it was missing. I, th I think I actually found it. Uh, so the new retaining pin in there. It's like a stamp there too. So it might be a different different setup. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna show you uh, the difference there. And then they also said about using WD-40 for these, they said do not use it on these guns because it's flammable and it builds up carbon, which I do agree with them because after just shooting it, after cleaning it, shooting it like 100 rounds or 200 rounds, it had a lot of carbon build up. Uh, and, but however, I got some actual like shotgun cleaner. It says extremely flammable too. I don't know if that's just a propellant. Maybe once it dries, it doesn't do that. So I'm going to try that, shoot it. We'll see how that does. And they also said uh, it actually will avoid the warranty if you use this a bunch because it can build up. It displaces water and pushes it in little areas that it could build up and create rust. So we'll, we'll get into that. But anyway, the, another thing I want to do, uh, one guy, is it Cat G? He asked, uh, would you be able to do a video? He recently got a Silver Eagle XT3 410 shotgun and he wanted a video to see how you tear it down. I wanted to know if I could borrow one and unfortunately I could not find one anywhere. One guy I know that sells these guns was actually where I got this one. He was out of everything. He had one AR, two ARs there maybe. Actually one was really nice. I, it was only like 1200 bucks too. I was like, man. Almost bought. <laughs> he, had a, he had some nice handguns too. He had one handgun there. I was gonna buy. I still might. But uh, I was like, "You got an ammo for it?" He's like, "No, I don't." I was like, "Well, what I'm gonna do is point at one of them that don't have any ammo for it. What I'm gonna do is point at somebody." Anyway, I asked him about taking them down. And he's like, "I'm not sure, but I think it's about the same as this, the Silver Eagle uh, Tactical SE 1.2. I'm pretty sure." It just has this, and I'm pretty sure that he said he thought too that the the semi-auto action was almost identical to this. But we can't, I don't know for sure because we didn't have one there. So if anybody knows a video that they can link, if I find one, I'll link it for the for Cat G to, so you can get his gun apart to clean and stuff. It's nice to have videos like I did with this one just so you can see how everything fits in there. I'm not trying to promote my own videos or anything. Uh, that's why I even told the guys at Silver Eagle. I was like, I'm not trying to promote my own videos, but their own videos. But if you want to take a look, you can see. And uh, he said he actually checked a few of them out. So it was cool. They're from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Cool dudes, like American guys, you know. Uh, just a quick saying hello to everybody. That always says hi. Like uh, Alloy Alloy Two Eleven. He's a cool guy. He. Uh, his videos are actually like really detailed and has information on it. Uh, unlike mine, where I'm all over the place and don't know what the hell I'm talking about 69% of the time. Uh, let's see. Adventures of Frank and Tina, man. Them, them, them people are cool cool people. Very nice, hardworking guys. I like them. Uh, Mrs. Mel. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Screen's a little down there. Yeah, Mrs. Mel. Uh, always says hi. You know, always asks how the family's doing and stuff. Real cool dude. Is that blue? Can you see blue? Yeah. See? Blue's getting big. Oh. Anyway, yeah, he always says hi. He makes great videos. Check him out. Cool dude. Page Family Homestead. They're good. Hey, good people, too. Uh, X Navy EOD. He's a cool dude. Uh, his videos. Does a lot of. What? Blue? <laughs> does a lot of helmets. What are you doing, dog? <laughs> funny. It has a lot of helmets and bayonets and you get like a good history lesson with it too. He actually knows what he's talking about. So I, I do enjoy them videos. Uh, 
Let's see who else. Uh, Pliskin by 51 millimeter. Cool dude. Same thing. Takes his time. He actually knows what he's talking about. Most of the, he knows what he's talking about. Unlike me, most of the time I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of other guys. So uh, I was actually going to do a thing. I can like say hi to everybody and give shout out shout outs. He was, was they, yeah, the Adventure of Frank and Tina, they did a thing for uh, truck drivers, which was really awesome. I'm not good at all when it actually comes to like, computers and stuff. Uh, good with cars and that, but I'm terrible at making videos. Like, I should try to do better. One of these days. One of these days, brother. Uh, and So I'll get this all taken apart, and I'll show you so what's going on here. And then we'll check out this gun oil, too. So here we go. Boy, I tell you what, I'm getting pretty good at taking this gun apart, man. I got that thing apart in under 69 seconds, that's for sure. So, I just like that light bulb. I was using this box for a camera stand. That's how, how we do things production-wise around here. Okay, so this is the new one. You can see this one I had. The spring's missing. Like I said, I think I found it. But they sent me a whole new bolt bolt group which is awesome i really appreciate that so i do shoot i mean i shot probably over well over a thousand rounds through this gun she gets beat up pretty good so you can see the new springs working good yeah i guess they have a little indent there they usually this is a camera don't like to focus either focus focus no yeah there we go so you can see that one has an indent the other one's kind of stamped a little heavier to Keep the, the pin in there. So I'm going to put her back together. Well, he's got a new extractor. That's cool. Let's check her out. That's the new one. So one, don't get it mixed up. I mean, it looks like maybe there's a remanufactured one, maybe. Or they used it, maybe. I don't know. Either way. It'll work. I don't care. So, uh, back to the... They said don't use WD-40. I don't know. Did I mention they said it could void a warranty? Uh, as far as, like, displacing water... See, right there. Like, there's a little bit of rust. I mean, that's kind of... My fault, too. Like, you want to make sure you soak everything in there. I mean, this gun goes out in the rain. And I, mud and everything. I beat the, beat the snot out of this gun. This is my gun. I just take out and just... Uh, destroy it. So let me see if it focus. So I actually cleaned this gun when I had that bolt out. So there was a lot of carbon build up, which makes sense. And it being this flammable, because you can actually start a diesel engine with these. So that could it makes sense that it build up carbon. So I'm gonna try the shotgun cleaner. And I'll let you know how it works. Like I said, it says this is a. Danger, extremely flammable. Extremely flammable. So, I mean, it might be the same situation. I was trying to find an old can of this remnant oil. We'll see if it's that extremely flammable. Yeah, there it is. Update. The customer service is awesome. Cool people, you know, from America. They're on it. And if you know any videos for that other guy for the XT3 Silver Eagle 410 shotgun, if you know any or videos he can check out maybe to help him out really appreciate it thanks